Hello, I have some comments for you about the story The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse by William Soroyan. The family in this story is from Armenia. This is a country in Europe. Millions of Armenians fled their homes during World War I. More Armenians left when their country was taken over by the Soviet Union in the 1940s and 1950s. In the United States, the largest group of people with Armenian heritage lives in California. The family in this story lives in a part of California known as the Central Valley, a fertile part of California that is famous for growing grapes, making wine, and growing other kinds of fruit. They actually live in the southern part of the valley called the San Joaquin Valley. They are working class people, so they probably work in the fields or orchards. The older members of the family still miss what they think of as the old country. The owner of the horse, John Byro, bought the horse to pull his Surrey. A Surrey is a horse-drawn vehicle with four wheels that is for pleasure trips, not for work. So Surreys are sometimes fancy. They are open to the air, but they have a roof. Here is a song from a very well-known movie about the settlers in the Old West. The movie is called Oklahoma. The song is called The Surrey with the Fringe on Top. When I take you out tonight with me, honey, here's the way it's gonna be. You will set behind a team of snow white horses in the slickest gig you ever see. All the world will fly in a flurry when I take you out in the Surrey. When I take you out in the Surrey with the fringe on top. When we hit that road, hell for leather, hats and dogs will dance in the heather. Birds and frogs will sing all together, and the toads will hop. The wind will whistle as we rattle along. The cows will moo in the clover. The river will ripple out a whispered song and whisper it over and over. Don't you wish you'd go on forever? Don't you wish you'd go on forever? Don't you wish you'd go on forever? And it never stop in that shiny little Surrey with the fringe on the top. The fringe is the fancy decoration hanging from the roof. In American culture, white horses are also special. White is a color of purity in our culture. You may remember from another story that unicorns are usually shown as being white. In the fiction about the American Old West, one of the most famous heroes was the Lone Ranger, and the Lone Ranger rode a white horse called Silver. The Lone Ranger was one of the first television series about the Old West, and it was very popular. The Lone Ranger. A fiery horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty Hyo Silver. The Lone Ranger. And here is a scene from the recent Lord of the Rings movies, in which the king of horses is a white horse called Shadowfax. So because the horse in this story is white, we know that it is extra special. 
Morad is also special because he has a gift for understanding animals and for taking care of them. We might call this a horse whisperer because of a movie of the same name. The movie was about a man who made horses feel calm and safe while training them, instead of training them using harder ways. A horse that feels calm and safe with his trainer is quick to bond with that person, and the results can be remarkable. That is what Murad did, and it is what John Byro noticed when he got the horse back. He said that the horse was stronger and better tempered. That means it was better behaved. As we think about this story, I think there are some questions the author wants us to ask ourselves. Does the horse's owner, John Byro, know that the boys have his horse? Is he pretending that he does not know what happened to his horse? Do you think maybe he is really watching as the boys ride the horse and take care of it and train it? The writer does not tell us, so we have to decide for ourselves.